Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to today's tutorial on free worship. Thank you for watching my video on YouTube concerning church media and presentation softwares. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you and then we do a quick review on how to use um, free worship software. Okay, so this is free worship. Now, this is free worship software. Okay, free worship software. Let me give you a brief intro to it. Free worship software is one of the free presentation software for church or scripture projection. Um, free worship software is free in one way and it is not free in another way. There is a paid version and then there is a free version. Okay, the free version comes with major tools and features you need and can use for your projection of song lyrics and then scriptures as well and then the pro version which which you have to pay or subscribe to or then to activate those features include the cli or song select features google slides and other stuff okay so those are the basic difference between the paid version and then the free version so if you are not going if you are not in need of those features then free worship is free for you to use all you need is to download and and then install it um so without much i do let's go through the features of free worship so when you open free worship for the first time this is how it's going to look like but i have already customized mine to a dark team but actually it's, um it uses a white team or its default team is why that is a skin or the interface look and feel it's not as dark as this when you install it for the first time okay so let me say i can change the skin okay when you click on settings then you come to skin so this is the default skin this is how it looks like but it's too bright in for my eyes so i like to use the dark team okay so i come to dark so you have learned one thing and then when you come to settings to there is language okay mine is set to english and i like it to be in english as the default language um us and then there are preferences where you customize the features of the song bible how things are being displayed font sizes general which one is your screen which one is in your second monitor and those stuffs um stage displays and other stuff so, okay everything is stored in preferences or configurations okay so now let's come to the general now when you come to general just like the language i'll explain some of the things very very quick um for you most of these things we actually don't need them when an error occurs automatically send error report include screenshot we can uncheck all these features they are not important to us but they are very important to help the developers um correct bugs and then bring out new features in the in the software so now when we move to the display display we have full screen and then custom okay so let me explain something briefly over here now when you are your your screen uh, your second monitor or is not yet set up you can use a portion of your screen your primary monitor or your laptop or your presentation computer you are using as the monitor okay so that is custom you can drag it to any location you want it to be so that you can view from that side but i want to leave it to the default where it is and then you can use full screen it will cover up the whole screen okay so now let's come to stage stage display it's also called foldback later we explain that we have song so now this is where i want to come to when we come to songs songs this is uh in this preferences or configuration we set the font we want to use for our song we set um the background we want to use for our songs then we set some effects like shadow styling like bold italics and etc okay so we have extra features over here you can click on it do you want to show the verse name chorus name verse number names in caps name chorus in italics these are basic settings okay so now we are not going to do that right now i've set if you want to set a color a solid color you choose this one 
you choose this one that is under color you want to use a color so you choose this tab you choose the color you want to use if you want a gradient you can use the gradient you use this arrow to tune where you want the gradient to fill and where not to fill and then you choose the first color of the gradient so you see i'm customizing the color this is not nice for me i want to go back to a one color i like the blue or perhaps i'll use black because black is very good it makes it visible for the audience to see song lyrics being projected well okay so now let's come here there are other these two uh gradients but while this one is a uh, linear this one is radial okay so now let's come you can use a picture as your background you browse through using this arrow to anywhere you want then you can use a camera to if you have capture card connected you can use a camera to okay and then your webcam on your laptop you can use that one too but let's go back we choose a solid color just one color so i i use the blue and then when i come to bibles too the same thing applies over here the same features when you come to extra now bible to use is set to asv i use asv and tree bible okay ASV and tree Bible in free worship. So now I've set mine to ASV as my default Bible. This is where you want the labels to show the current. It should show current scripture at the bottom. So these are basic features you can just use. So those are the main ones. Okay, the rest are time. You see, in free worship, you can project time. Time. There is a timer feature in that you can project. Okay, the rest performance, administrator. We don't need those ones. The major ones we need is the song and the Bibles and the slide. Now, when we come to slide, so basically these are just backgrounds and fonts you want to use. Okay, when you when you are done, just click on save. I don't want to overwrite my uh, my settings, so I'll just click on cancel. Now let's come to um, these features over here. The first one is song. If you want to search a song, click on the music icon or the logo. You search for your song over here. You double click on it. You have your preview window here. So these are your preview window. And then your preview shows the lyrics over here. There is another preview here. And then when you click on this button, this is live. When you double click on it, it goes live. But when you click on it, it changes. It gives you a preview of what it contains. And then when you click on the live apply preview, apply preview is the same as live button that you can click on to move on to the live screen. So this is your live screen. Unlike Easy Worship where it is both sides, this one is up and down. Okay. So now anything you, you go live or you uh, search for will be automatically added to shadow for you. So you can see over here that I have a shadow. It has created a service list or what is called schedule in other presentation softwares like Easy Worship. It's called service list. Now let's come to Bible. Now when we and then let me talk about this. When you are projecting the songs, you can click on edit. It will still take you back to the settings or the configuration, and here you can do your changes as to um the font you want to use but not necessarily but the background okay so if you want to change the background you come down here this is where you can apply a quick background especially when you want to use a picture for so this is the picture icon you want, you want to bring in a camera feed from your webcam or a capture card that you have connected you can bring it here and then with the images there is a tabs there are various um image um aspect ratios over here that is stretch to fill, send a uh, skill to fit, crop to fill, and other one center and the rest. Okay, so with that much I do, any of these settings you do, you can also click on apply, set it as Z for it to be applied in your configuration as well. Now let's come to the Bible. When you come to the Bible, James, you give a space. So now this is what you do. The moment you start typing and it comes, you can hit the chapter number. You don't wait for you to you, you don't have to enter the word the book name like james you don't have to enter the moment you enter J E M, you can leave it there hit the number it will take you to the number side and then you hit 
and uh, if you want to have all the list of the scriptures okay that is all the list of the scriptures okay this is it but if you want to specify then the colon and then the verse number you do that so usually i would want to do it this way so that i can go through and then choose the one i want or i can specify specifically when i'm searching so as i told you automatically it adds to your service list and service list is the same as shadow as we have in other presentation softwares okay so you double click and then it goes live now there is a feature in free worship that allows you to whenever you go live it automatically selects the next verse for you so anytime you hit on enter it goes live you see and i've activated that so now let's start from verse one i hit enter it has selected verse two for me that means when i hit enter and i'm going on verse three verse three is in preview i hit enter it goes and that for now let's come to changing the bible version that you have installed you click on edit anything click on edit and then extra i just come to bible to use i choose three and then it has changed for me i just go on live verse two is selected i hit enter when you hit enter you go live okay when you hit enter you go live and then let's come to powerpoint when you click on powerpoint you can um, bring in microsoft powerpoint or any powerpoint presentation file and then when you click on video you can browse for a video file mp4 or any other video now when you bring in the video file you can also set i don't know if i have a video okay i have some videos but i really don't want to show now later we'll do a quick tutorial on that okay so if you want to let me bring in this video and see so this is my video playing okay so when i click on this i'm going on live so this is just for um the intention of um education so let's do something very quick i have a slider here i can set where i want the video from and where i want to add the video i want to only show this portion of the video my starting point is eight minutes 37 point six seconds and there i go live and that is where it will be playing from so this is my video you see how clear it is and i can then go live to us well. around one a.m see it was the final of the tournament and i didn't want so to miss it but now let me just... you have missed the opportunity to continue to earn money to cater for yourself so we are done with that one let's go to slice it now when you come here you can add slice you can create your own slice for the purpose of um announcements and other stuff so when i click on add slide this is my slide and then this is how you add the content to slide you click there is let me add another one this is a new slide now when you look closely here it says right click to add test so all women should wait after close of service so this is my slide i can add another slide to it that is another announcement okay i right click and enter something and then i can go live so this is page two of this slide okay so that is one great feature i can come to timer and show time i want to show this type of time i go live so this is how i set my time with green color and then black background and then when you come to camera here you can bring in a camera feed or stream that is um it and then there is alert basha i can add an alert
So my alert is showing over here. Okay, with the basa, you can choose what you want to do with it. Because there are many, many things. And then let's come to to black. To black means um the screen will go black on the live screen or the projector. Easy worship logo will show on the projector. Uh, sorry, free worship logo will show on the projector. Back to background. And then this is it for me. My live one. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. This is just a quick tutorial, but I think um there is something I need to touch on the alert. When you click on tools, you click on alert. You enter your alert test here. Number of times to uh, loop or number of time for you to scroll. Choose infinity or you can specify the number. Infinity means until you stop it, it will loop for a very long time in infinity. So once I click on add, it is showing over there. Okay. And then when I click on hide, it removes it. Okay. So thank you for watching the video. And then if there is any comment you can contact, I'll help you out.